One of the biggest trade shows of the year opened here in Las Vegas today. Organizers expected to sort of struggle through the SEMA show and were surprised when more than 100,000 people showed up. SEMA features companies that make and install custom parts for vehicles. 8 News Now reporter Edward Lawrence looks at why the show is such good news for Las Vegas. Many words describe the vehicles at the SEMA show. Hot rod, tricked out, customized, souped up. If it can be done to a car, it will be on display. Organizers expected low attendance. They, like exhibitor Joe Phillipson, were shocked when the doors opened. We've had a lot of interest this morning, a lot of people stopped by. Phillipson owns a company started in his garage that makes LED headlights for cars and motorcycles. He never misses this trade show for aftermarket custom automotive parts. If you miss this show, especially today, everybody thinks you went out of business. So it's kind of a must to attend this show. It seems he's not alone in that thinking. There are 110,000 people registered and paid to come to the SEMA convention this year. That's an increase over last year. The biggest increase, though, comes in international guests. 20% of those registered are from outside the United States. All of these people will bring $173 million to the Las Vegas economy. SEMA show Vice President Peter McGullivary says so far this exceeded his expectations. Everybody was a little on the, on the fence uh, prior to arriving in Las Vegas about what kind of show we were going to have. SEMA expanded into the ever-growing green market. For the second year, hybrid cars were featured prominently. It doesn't mean that we have to give up on performance. Simon Sabak created an electric car that goes 0 to 60 in 5 seconds. One charge will last 140 miles. He, like the other exhibitors, hoped they made the next best thing in automotive history. This is the Model T of high-performance electric cars. They're really the light of the future. Edward Lawrence, 8 News Now. It is all there. The SEMA show runs through Friday. It comes as two of the big three automakers, Ford and GM, announced a jump in sales.